Imagine this, you download the blueprint to your custom home on the internet, and when you're ready to build, you just click print. Sound a bit far-fetched? Well, architects in Holland are already doing it. The Wall Street Journal's Carl Nazman has more. Amsterdam is a city known for its canals and historic architecture. But soon, these old houses will have a new high-tech neighbor. Printing the new city, and we start with one house. Dutch architect Hans Vermeulen is building an entire house using 3D printing. This 50. But he needed something bigger than the consumer-grade printers you might find on the growing consumer market. Enter the Kammermacher, or room builder. It's making the world's first 3D printed house. We found out that there was not a big printer on the market yet. So then we thought like, okay, then we have to build it ourselves. So we did. In fact, this is the largest portable 3D printer in the world. The process is still slow, printing layer by layer with melted plastic. It takes about four hours to finish one building block out of the hundreds they'll need. Then it's removed and assembled like giant Lego pieces into a house. Well, it's not that we say that everyone should live in a plastic house. This material is the material which, use, which is working at the moment with this technique. Uh, we tested with uh, wood fi fibers, print not only plastic, but print wood, print metals, print marble. It all started on these smaller printers, making just tiny models of the team's designs. Which fits here. Then two years ago, they dreamed bigger, going from prototype into the real thing. These stairs will eventually lead to a five-story building used as an international research center for 3D printed architecture. And it's an example of the future of home building. Well, the potential of 3D printing, of course, is that you can make unique housing, personal housing, because every print can be unique. The technology is also more eco-friendly than traditional construction. Digital files can be transferred by the internet and can be downloaded everywhere on the planet and be printed uh, locally with local materials. You only use material you really need, so you don't have any waste. You also don't need that much of transport anymore. And when natural disasters strike, like Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines, 3D printers could even be used to build emergency housing. The storm damaged or destroyed more than one million homes last November, and still tens of thousands of people are living in tents or temporary shelters. Vermeulen says dozens of printers could one day be deployed to crisis areas to print fast, cheap and sturdy houses for refugees. And that's also uh, why we want to do it, you know, to actually see um, what this technique actually can mean for uh, housing uh, 7 billion people on this planet. Whether or not 3D printed houses go mainstream, the foundation for that possibility begins here. The world's first 3D printed house is scheduled to be finished in 2017.